I said I'd get back around to Ivor, and I have. She's an incredible artist of work, and I have a lot to say in a short time, so we're going to get straight in of it, into it. One of the reasons I would promote Ivor on my channel is the way her music has been utilised by TV. Like dramas, The Game of Thrones, for example, have jumped all over this particular artist. And Ivor's voice can be heard on the BBC Netflix series, The Last Kingdom, as well. She's established herself as one of the most promising artists in Denmark and has been picked by huge dramas, which I've said previously on my previous reaction. In the UK and the US time will tell you just how far she can go. I can see many more filmmakers coming to her and asking her to use her music. There's something cinematic, there's something lush about her songs. You're transported into scenes, into landscapes, and your mind is carried away somewhere. No shock she has proved a very popular op option for producers and directors because of this. And I'm curious whether Ivor's music can even go further than it has at the moment. It's obvious there is a film aspect to it, maybe more of a big Hollywood production would consider using her music, for example, uh, to score some epic scenes. Perhaps that is not something she's interested in, but I can see definite room for negotiations there. If one sees the video that you're about to see, you'll understand the clarity, the purity, and the incredible voice that she has. And another one would be Into the Mist. Check that out on YouTube, everybody, because today's chosen song, Surrender, I'll get into in a minute and why I've, I've done it. And then you, when you see Into the Mist, only then when you see where she comes from vocally and why big Hollywood producers are missing out. They've always chosen Enya, always. The, and I'm Irish and I love Enya. I love everything she's ever done. I think she's in incredibly beautiful and talented. And she lives in Hoth, which is just outside Dublin City here. And she's reclusive, but she's phenomenally down to earth as well. But Iva shows how her songs can be transported into dramas and the sort of visuals that accompany them. Slur, which um, I would like to talk about in another reaction, is blessed with similar songs and have senses of trembling and conspiring. And I'll develop that in the next reaction. All of this brings me to the artists who recognize the natural world and atmosphere to build a musical environment like no other. And Ivor is one of those. I guess if you had to select a near neighbor equivalent, you might think of Bjork, for example. The Icelandic continues to release her music and I have reacted to her and I've attached it to this particular video, Surrender, to give you a double whammy of Nordic, Icelandic, beautiful music and vocals. And Bjork also shows that she's one of the most innovative and genius-like artists in all of the music, and so is today's guest. I've just got to say, for when it comes to Ivor, I, I remember just listening to her voice thinking, who is that woman, who is that woman? In, and I was getting very confused with Enya, and I was thinking, is that Enya, is that Enya? And then somebody said to me, no, that is today's guest. And I was like, wow. Because Surrender is the latest track, was the latest track from her album, Slur. It's a fantastic track, and it's one that builds off that reputation into the myths, check that out, that I mentioned. It's, a, it's already gathered and got critical acclaim across social media. I'm excited to see what other songs I'm going to react to on the album because it's clear Ivor has a lot of confidence and ability right now. She's progressed from her earliest recordings and is comfortable with her own material. And she was always astonishing and different, but this gives this video gives her in a purity. Trust me. It gives listeners a chance to discover a brilliant and rare artist. And it's interesting putting two albums alongside one another and seeing a difference between them.
before slur i forget the name of it and slur and just seeing the difference vocally and musically how she's adapted because she's really matured in, in a very short time everybody and it's just everything about her i get excited about the synths the beats remind me of classic pop in you know i think that's from the the previous and in fact it melts with modern day electro uh, at times electro in the albums especially slur and i was entranced by the dizzying racing notes and the dreams and the panoramic views of her early videos and her voice she's a heroine she's a heroine to me she gives herself to that musical wave and the summits she really does and although she's drowning and falling our heroine forgets there's beauty all around her it's a sentiment and sobering reality that is bringing her back from the brink and that is what today's track is about so I will talk about it straight after because I'm looking at the time going oops let's listen and I'll discuss the lyrics and you'll see why I've built her up built her up Shine like swirling 
have a lot to say. Surrender was the latest track from that album at the time when it was released in 17. Slur. And as you've seen, it's a fantastic track and one that builds off that reputation into the myths. And I can, I'm sure that you can understand now, fans of Ivor, why I say that. Although the song might suggest something morbid and fatigued, it's a moment of clarity and complex, complexity that defies easy categorization. In a way, I look at the earlier lines and I'll, as a representation of love and life. Because when you look at when moonlight shimmers on the sea, coral reefs shine like swirling galaxies in your eyes, I surrender myself to the tender waves. I hold my breath and dive into the serenity of loving you, it says in verse 1. Maybe there's a particular person in mind here, a man that's captured her heart. Or perhaps she's looking at life in a different way. Whatever your interpretation, you are transported because she sings in uh, to the Faroe Islands and that spellbinding environment because that's where a lot of her videos are filmed and her recordings take place and she sings in the in Faroes as well, one of the most ancient and beautiful languages in the world. And that is what is unique about her. But she continues in the chorus, I forget that I'm drowning. There is a beauty all around me. Nothing can keep me away from you. No, no one can love you like I do, she says. I see Ivor looking at life in general and trying to make sense of things here. Perhaps there's a dark moment that is surfacing in her mind that she needs to hold on to and recognize all is there to live for. Surrender is never hopeless. It's a song or depressive. It's a track that challenges the listener to immerse themselves into the song and draw their own conclusions. I felt there was hopelessness and strength that arrived from the song. You know, it's like you never feel like the heroine is giving in or letting life wash over her. That is enforced by a composition that once again mixes genres and periods. I've said Surrender has a touch of the 80s about it. I hear Embers of Bjork here in the voice, uh, not just in the composition and vocals and modern day electro, but also just in the whole feeling of karma that you get and, and transportation and out of body experiences is what I mean when you listen to her. She continues, I know that you want me closer. I know you hear me echoing through the chambers of your heart. I feel your touch under my skin. I feel your love in every general motion we make. So the earlier phases saw Ivor looking into nature and maybe wrestling with some doubts. It seems her love and intentions are clear. Perhaps there's obstacles or someone else is in the frame. That proclamation of desire and love cannot be misread or understated. It's a bold and emphatic statement from somebody who wants to be enriched and fulfilled. Because she continues, I forget I'm drowning because there's abs there is beauty all around me. She finishes with, nothing can keep me away from you. No one can love me like you do. Nothing can keep me away from you. I'll never let you go. No one, and then repeats, no one can love me like I do. And finishes with that. And when it comes to, one speculates whether it is, that desire is aimed at solely a, a persona or whether someone like her homeland is being assessed. That's open to interpretation. On initial listen though, one would assume another is being ascribed to, but you revaluate that towards the end there. Perhaps the pain to the Faroe Islands and the beauty they hold. Who knows? It's open to interpretation. You surrender your feelings, your thoughts, your ears, your heart, the way she does, and everybody will come out with their own interpretation of, of surrender. And that's why I think it's, be it's a beautiful title to a song that leaves you surrendered to your own feelings when you listen. 
And that is my interpretation of the song. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Ivo, you'll be back again, don't worry. I'll surrender to you and your music. I always will. And maybe I'll check out one of those dramas and see which one would fit in. But I hope you've enjoyed the, la the live version of Surrender from the London Solo Sessions from 2017. <sighs> I know I did. I feel calmer now. Do you? I hope so. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Take care.